previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. When you cover yourself in their smell, you rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Anybody. I know. What do we do? Luke was with me, but I, I can't do this alone. We can't stay here with that. We need to keep moving. Look, the walkers are still moving toward the hardware store. We can make it out if we stick to. Anything? There. 
through that cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just... we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Fall behind, I can't come back for you. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kimmy. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is 
Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well... Besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny, and he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Being angry won't help anything. No, because it's sure as hell helping me. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still. Doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We 
thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them. One way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's... situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff.
That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Hold on to them. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! Goddamn! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. He's your friend. You should do this. All right, it's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. Okay. Just calm down. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. No. 
How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Just get it together. Go for it. work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Don't. Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Glad you're paying attention. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's gonna take some work to get over there. Ah! Let's see if we can find anything over there. Get away! Yeah, most of these guys are gonna have nothing on them. But it's worth taking a look. When it's not too risky. What can I do, Sarah? Walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How we do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? What do you want me to do? I got you covered. <laughs> Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there.
me block this. Hurry! Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would have left already, but I, I got Sarah here, and... I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. Come on! We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't... we can't... we can't stay here! I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. <sighs> I don't know, it's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. I hate that I've lost so many people, but it's made me stronger. I've learned to take care of myself. Things aren't like they were before. Everything is hard now. You say that like it's so easy. Not everyone can be like you. But you can be too, Sarah. I wish that were true. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke! Get over here! Help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find! The fridge! Forget it! That thing ain't budging! Find something else! Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. On three. One, two, three! Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! 
Okay, go, go! Keep pushing! Go! Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem, I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way, too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on, let's get back to your friends.
Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well... Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing. 
and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll go with Mike and Bonnie. All right. Well, let's get going. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. I guess that's the place there. Fuck. It's a wreck. You ain't even been inside yet. Just look at it. Glass all blown out, walkers hanging around. Well, no way to find out until we go and check it out for ourselves. Stop being so cranky. Sorry. I just really want sticking with y'all to work out. And it's been hard so far. How about you make it up to us by helping out with those walkers up there? Yeah, all right. Jane showed me a good way to attack them. If you take out a knee, they always fall. And then you can stab them in the back of the neck. Hmm. A good smack to the head's always done fine for me. Let's do this before more of them show up. Watch out for the broken glass. It's all over. Okay. Somebody's already been through here. Guess that's not a surprise. Still, might be something worthwhile left. Let's check it out. We need to look fast so we can get back to the others. Let's just take a sweep. I really don't want to go back empty-handed. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Do you think these work? Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also, really loud. Good point. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted Empty. to. Never mind. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Any luck? 
No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Lee would have loved this place. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... We can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from... That happened. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to be. But you're tough for your size. Shit. You're tough for my size. I'm sorry I asked you. I won't do it again. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. 
That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. There he is! He's coming your way. Block him! Oh, oh, shit! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon. Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. How long did your son take? How you doing, Beck? Okay. I'm okay. How did you guys make Museum's out? Museum's a bust. All glass walls shattered. It'd be impossible. And it was picked over pretty good. Lots of folks probably been there before us. We found some water, though. Oh, that's good. Nice work. Good, good. We save all of that for Rebecca. Anybody else gets a thirst, you can go to the river. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared, and it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Giving himself up to Carver like that, it was to try to keep you and the baby safe. Yeah, I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. I'm worried that we ain't seen Jane in a while. Go check on her, would you? Go on ahead. I'll be fine. Sarah, you know, Rebecca's starting... They're going to leave me, won't they? I don't know. How come you didn't leave me? 
because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Sarah, your dad, you know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. That walk seemed longer to you on the way back. No, but... Thanks for carrying the water. I didn't realize how tired I was until I put it down. I need to rest up a bit. Seems like folks appreciate it, though. That's good. Maybe they'll come around after all. What are you thinking about? I'm worried about Rebecca. Having a baby can be rough enough on a woman. Even in a nice, clean hospital. Does she even have a shot out here? Luke. Hey, Clint. Nice job finding those bottles of water. That's a good score. We couldn't have brought them back without Mike. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty strong. That's for sure. He thinks we don't like him. No, it's not that. I just think he's more eager than he has a right to be. Okay, he wants acceptance before he's earned it. Does that make sense to you? I guess so. found an old coat. Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Thanks, Clint. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Jane? Hey, Clementine, up here. Oh, hey. Museum was a bust, huh? We found water. A lot of it. Well, that's something, at least. Check this out. This gate's still locked. Which means that, hopefully, no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. And I've been trying to get it open, but it's locked pretty tight. Can't see what's inside. That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. 
A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. There were more cannons in the museum. Mike said they're just for show. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Oh. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Guess it's broken. Find anything? No, not even trash. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Should we run for it? Normally, I would. But it's too much of a risk. We can't lead him to the others. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Hey. I just want to talk to you. Who are you? I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially... Маленькая девочка. Little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay, I am not going. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I saw... Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. Is it just you and your sister? No, I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. 
You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine? You are vori. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a me. fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. that observation dick I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny they said they hadn't heard from you in a while I don't guess there'd be much but Jane seems pretty resourceful God knows we could use a break Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up what shit this is the last thing we need right now what happened Jane took his gun and scared him off well Glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe. Nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. Just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Shit! 
Ryan! Oh, God! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Stop! Stop! Ah. Clem! Clementine! Ah. Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. The museum. It's our only choice. No, Jane and I found a place. I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. We uh, gotta get out of here. Mike, the water. On it. About as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. G Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um, What's going on? Well, uh, I mean, in here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. The walkers are right behind us. We have to keep them from getting up here. There's still the stairs. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. Shit ever end? 
But we need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family here. There you go. You're natural. Look at you, like a big sister. <laughs> here, let me take him. You both should rest, especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Uh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Go? Go where? Just... away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and... watch it happen to you two. You know the score. You're smart, kid. But... I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. But make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Oh, and push comes to shove. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever.
You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Keep it. I, uh... I gotta go. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> the temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit, childish. God damn it, Kenny, you know what, just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane, she made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you. Okay, everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine, if that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. You all right? She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have stayed put. We 
should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This look like someplace warm to you? We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up. Okay, you're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. You're not helping anything by arguing. Don't forget, you agreed with me last night that we should get moving as quick as possible. Uh, uh, oh. oh, here. There's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh, he's okay. I've got him. No. You rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. All right. Hello, your name is Clementine, yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need, uh, uh things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть... What's so funny? Why did they laugh? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane, where's the other woman? What's going on? There were two I do not see a woman who was with you. Where is she hiding? She's close by. Don't worry. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. Hey, This could be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Fine, my ass. Слушай, Arvo, почему они не? We have a baby. You have a baby with you? У них родничковый ребенок. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, опусти оружие сейчас. И слишком много. Бурико, отойди. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I'll do it. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking, don't move. I said don't move. Ты хочешь умереть? Ты думаешь, что я хороший мужчина? Бурико, Бурико, остановись! Опусти оружие! Тебе не зачем это делать! Не стреляйте! Я не хочу умирать! No!
Good.